Item number SCP-7166. Index. Never strikes twice. Object class. Euclid. Special containment procedures. Reports regarding survivors of lightning strikes are to be investigated and said survivors monitored for any anomalous activity. In the event an individual survives multiple lightning strikes within their lifetime, they are to be questioned in order to ascertain any similarities between instances. If any underlying cause for SCP-7166 is discovered, research into possible methods of neutralization is to be prioritized. Description SCP-7166 is a phenomenon affecting individuals who are struck by lightning. This phenomenon does not appear to affect all victims of lightning strikes, but SCP-7166 has been found to occur at higher frequencies if the individual is struck by lightning, but survives. The individual retains higher brain functions. The individual resumes everyday activities after recovering from the lightning strike, e.g. work, leisure, family, etc. And these activities place the individual outdoors. Individuals who meet these criteria, designated SCP-7166-1, will become significantly more likely to experience lightning strikes. This effect appears to be cumulative with repeated strikes, as individuals who survive more than two strikes become far more likely to experience a third strike, and so on. This effect will only demanifest following either SCP-7166-1's cessation of outdoor activities, loss of higher brain functions, or death. Dr. Sanderson, come on. Time to give it up. I'm not sure I understand, ma'am. 7166. There's nothing there. You know it. I know it. Ma'am, I can assure you I've been looking into this. There's more here than meets the eye. Roger, I'm worried for you. Please. You haven't taken a single day to grieve. Work takes my mind off it. Bullshit. I know what happened, Roger. I've seen it before. You don't know a damn thing, Brooke. You really think you're the first person to try to find a reason? To not be able to accept what's happened? I'm reassigning you to SCP-765. You are to focus solely on its containment. If I catch wind that you're looking into this again, I will personally have you demoted. Am I understood? June 2 Every day I think I'm closer to a breakthrough, and every day I come up short. They want to cut my funding. They want to classify it as explained. I will not let that happen. I know the truth. I know what I saw. Brooks sending me to the fucking duck pond. Supposed to be clearing my head. But there's nothing to clear. What a waste of time. June 3. Arrived at the pond today. The staff there are very lax. Too lax, if you ask me. The project lead here is a woman named Whittaker. Helped me get acquainted with everything. Talks a lot. There's a thunderstorm on the forecast for Friday. I'm going to see what I can learn from it. June 4. Whittaker came snooping by today. Of course, no tangible signs of my research. So she went on her way. Talked with one of the other researchers. Name's Adrian. Or Dr. Mother, rather. First person I've talked to here who seems to actually care what I had to say. Or, at least, pretended to care. The way he talks reminds me of Jason, paints those big sweeping pictures with words, tries to get you just as excited as he is. Certainly the least intolerable person here. He talked at length about the different ducks he'd seen here. I guess I pretended to care, too. This storm is supposed to be a nasty one. Apparently, all staff are going to be sequestered in a storm shelter on the premises. I'll either have to peel off from the crowd when they head that way, or sneak out once everyone's inside. Either way, no one can know. I don't want anybody else getting caught up in this mess. June 5 Martha caught me working. I made him promise me not to tell Whittaker. I think I scared him half to death. Can't have anyone stopping me tomorrow. Brooke called to check up on me. I don't know how convincing I was. 
She always seems to know when I'm bullshitting. One more day. One last night. Then it's just me and that storm. Sanderson. Mother. You're, uh, how are you? Fine, I guess. Been worse. You? Oh, you know, alive. Great. So, I wanted to ask, what, uh, you got any plans for this evening? I mean, probably the storm shelter, right? Uh, well, yeah, but I meant, after, I guess just sleep, mostly. Right, of course. Well, I was wondering, and you don't have to say yes, of course, I totally understand. Adrian, what is it? What do you want to go on a date? Oh, feel free to say no. Don't feel obligated to. Doctor, mother, I appreciate the interest, but I... No, of course. Sorry for asking. It's not you, Adrian. I... Uh, it's complicated. Right. Sorry. Should have guessed. No, it's all right. Just nothing against you. Maybe some other time. June 6. Adrian. He asked me out. I didn't know what to say. That was the furthest thing from my mind. I said no. Did I mean no? Yes, of course I meant no. No time for any distractions. I have to focus on the task at hand. The storm hits us around 9pm, three hours from now. Guess I'd better start preparing. Alert. A severe weather warning is in place. All staff must make their way to Shelter A immediately. This message repeats. Alert. A severe weather warning is in place. All staff must make their way to Shelter A immediately. This message repeats. Alert. A severe weather warning is in place. Where's Sanderson? He's not... Oh. Fuck. Fuck. Yes, I know, but Roger's out there. He needs help. Get out of my way. I know you can hear me. I know you're listening. I, I know what you want. You want me. Well, I'm right here. Come on. Do it. I'm right here. Just fucking do it already. Roger, what the hell are you doing? Get inside. Adrian? Yes, it's me. Come on. No. I have to learn what it wants. How it works. What? The fucking lightning? You can watch it from the shelter. It strikes people, Adrian. And if they live, it strikes them again. And again. Until there's nothing left to strike. So what are you doing out here, then? If I can get struck and live, I can... I can figure out its M.O. And I can figure out a way to stop it. Roger, we have D-Class. You don't... They don't have the knowledge I have. They'd be toast. Not like me. And what's stopping you from dying right here, right now? Nothing. Right. So... It doesn't matter. Either way, what's done is done. I... Roger, what's gotten into you? Go inside, Adrian. I'm finishing this. No. Are you fucking crazy? I'm not leaving you here. I'm not letting anyone else get wrapped up in all this. I'm not moving an inch until you're safe and sound in Shelter A. Adrian, I'm warning you. Roger, listen to me. I don't know what's wrong with you, but whatever it is, this isn't going to fix it. You're risking everything just to, what, to stop people from getting struck by lightning? I mean, listen to yourself. But getting struck again and again, that's not unlucky. That can't just be luck. Why not? Because they all died in vain. Walter Summerford, Roy Sullivan. People die from bad luck all the time. What the fuck's the difference? Us, Adrian. We can stop it. We have the means. The resources. We can prevent shit like this. That's not our place. We don't get to just call something an anomaly because we don't like it. That's not how any of this is supposed to work. But... Roger, please, come inside. It's fucking freezing out here. Fuck. All right. June 7. I've got a cold. Boo. Hoo. The lake flooded last night. 
We assessed the damage. Nothing too severe. Things should be up and running again soon. Adrian came by, gave me a get well card, threw it at his weaselly little face. Serves him right. Nothing else to report. I leave the pond in three days. Thank God. June 8. Adrian came by again. I didn't throw anything this time. Said he wanted to make amends. I accept it. He said his offer from Friday is still on the table. Two days till I'm out of here. June 9. Adrian pressed me for an answer. I told him it wasn't a good idea, since I leave tomorrow. He understood. Tomorrow. I leave tomorrow. One day more. June 10. I'm being sent to Site 128. With Adrian. I'm taking him up on his offer. Item number SCP-7166-EX Object Class Explained Special Containment Procedures As of 17-6-2022, SCP-7166 is to be considered non-anomalous. Description SCP-7166 was a proposed anomalous phenomenon responsible for an increased likelihood of lightning strike survivors to be struck again. SCP-7166 was hypothesized using circumstantial evidence, including records regarding Walter Summerford, Roy Sullivan, and Jason Sanderson. SCP-7166 was eventually determined to be unquantifiable, and the probability for lightning strike survivors to be struck again was determined not to have exceeded projected numbers. December 21 Flew into Anchorage yesterday for Christmas. My parents met me at the airport. Good to see them again. Definitely ready for a break. Last week was particularly hectic. December 24 Adrian took me up to see the Northern Lights. He proposed. I took him up on his offer. 